Hi, welcome to Mr. B's Brain Dump. Um, this is just a quick vlog, um, an early morning-ish one, on uh, a bank holiday here in the UK. And I thought I'd just put this one out really to just remind us guys um, to spread the word amongst the biking community that bank holidays, especially here in the UK, are one of the worst and most dangerous times to go out on your bike. Um, so all I can say is spread the word. Obviously for those that you already know, um, don't assume anything uh, on a bank holiday. Don't assume that the car driver or the cage driver has seen you. Don't assume they're looking for you. Don't assume that the next bend hasn't got someone picking blackberries who's parked their car in the middle of the road. Just be extra vigilant, extra defensive today. Um, you know, ride safe. Uh, I can't really stress it enough really. I think a lot of you know already that of course that on bank holidays here in the UK um, not to stereotype but Grandad will dust, dust off his um, his Rover um, and he'll take it out for the second time this year and um, obviously he focuses on where he's going and doesn't really look outside of that window like that um, so be extra vigilant today uh, ladies and gents um, don't assume anything always assume the person hasn't seen you that guy who's been sat at that junction who's been waiting all that time as you're approaching don't assume they've seen you I've been caught out before and they'll pull out when you just can't believe that they've not seen you so uh, be really uh, vigilant today ride as defensively as you can uh, where appropriate, you know the hot spots, junctions, traffic lights, roundabouts, uh, all those sort of places. Um, obviously traffic lights are red, doesn't necessarily mean that no one's coming. Um, police, fire engines, ambulances for a start will cross red lights. Um, so if it's green, check. If it's red, check. If it's amber, check. And just be extra safe today. So, um, one of the most challenging days as a rider is a bank holiday here in the UK, especially this bank holiday. The sun is out, which is rare, uh, which means there will be a lot more bikers out. Some of those will be inexperienced as well. So if you see any bikers, you're stopped at a sandwich shop, a chip shop, buy an ice cream, spread the word. Hey guys, you know, be safe out today. There's going to be a lot of inexperienced riders, drivers, um, and rusty drivers, you know, ones that haven't driven for a while um, and just don't assume anything, okay, just because you can see that car waiting at the junction the traffic light's green, it doesn't mean to say that someone's just going to come along and spoil your day, okay, so ride safe uh, that's the only real reason I've put this vlog up, but whilst I'm here I'll just give you a quick update I've put a, um, a little video up on a call and change on Hayabusa it's very detailed. I'll go as far as the expansion bottle. You'll see why. Um, and also in there is a little competition that I thought you might like. Um, just a bit of fun. Uh, just keep it interesting. And uh, a little update with my um, camera mount. Now I know you got, I posted up that camera mount video which has been extremely successful. It works perfectly. Uh, the problem I've had was trying to make use of that microphone that I had. Um, Needless to say, I've still got Teddy's ear, um, but there is a slight problem with the microphone. Where I shaved it down, um, I kind of accidentally cut the earth wire, and it wasn't worth repairing. Um, I've got a soldering kit, it just wasn't worth it. Um, so, I found another microphone. This one comes with an earpiece, but I'm just going to try and ignore the earpiece for now. Don't worry, I have ordered one as well, but I just, I'm really keen to try and do a little bit of vlogging if I can. So I'm just in the course of shaving down the plug so that um, it means that I can mount this earpiece. Um, it's quite a good one this actually, it's got a little boom on it so I reckon it might work quite well with a bit of Teddy's ear on it. Yeah. But I've also seen people using some uh, sponge or uh, styrofoam so I might try that as well. Um, but the main thing is that it means if I shave this down without cutting the earth wire this time, um, it means that I can close the clasp and everything and keep that, um, that housing secure. Um, oh, there's one other thing I wanted to mention as well because I saw some people having problems with moisture in their cameras. 
right? You know, you buy stuff and it comes with these silicon bags. I don't know if that's going to go in focus or not. But yeah, silicon bags, they come in everything. Um, Mrs. B's got a few handbags, they always come with um, silicon, silicon comes with handbags a lot and all sorts of stuff. Keep them. Hold on to these silicon bags, they're awesome. Um, basically, what I'm doing is I've put, or will be putting, when I get everything set up properly, in my um, Sony housing, I'm just going to tape with my camera. Uh, on charge, maybe a bit of editing here. Um, I'm just going to tape, because this, this side of the Sony's got nothing going on, there's no buttons, there's no screen, there's nothing. So I'm just going to tape a silica bag to the side. Yeah, I've got loads of silica bags. Uh, and put it in. So at the end of a really rainy ride, a wet ride, or for whatever reason there's uh, a big build up of moisture, because these generate a lot of heat, so if it's cold outside it'll steam up. Put a silica bag in, it won't. Um, and then obviously you can switch bags um, when you're starting to find missing issues again, but silica bags don't cost you anything because it comes with most products you buy. But save them, keep them. They, they're handy. Right, that's that. Um, only other thing to mention now is that I'm, I've, uh, I've come up with a fantastic extreme camera mount. So I might publish that video today if I get a chance. Uh, I'm going to go out with the kids and that stuff first today. Uh, but I just want to put this log out there um, as early as possible. It's fairly early still in the UK. I don't think it's uh, 9 o'clock yet. Uh, and just spread the word guys, uh, don't assume anything really dangerous today out on the road. Lots of inexperienced riders and drivers, um, or when I say experienced by the way, I mean that they don't ride regularly um, or drive regularly. And the extreme example being uh, Grandpa taking his rover out for the second time this year because it's a nice sunny day. Okay, so ride safe uh, and see you on the next one and have a great bank holiday. And guys, uh, everywhere else in the world, um, have a great day. And uh, if you have anything which you do, obviously, uh, related to bank holidays, again, I say in reply. So uh, bear it in mind, next time it's a sunny, sunny holiday, um, there, there will be a lot of inexperience on the road uh, and unpracticed. So don't assume anything. That's all I wanted to say, really. Ride safe. Uh, have a great time. Cheers. Bye.